Let's consult a map. Here's Germany, Morocco, and Fantasyland. But beyond Walt Disney World's borders, you find a larger boundary, the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District, that's been at the center of a feud between Disney and Governor Ron DeSantis. There's a new sheriff in town. But this district started way before the DeSantis-Disney War. It explains something about the history of Florida and the lost city of Epcot. It will be a community of tomorrow that will never be completed. And most importantly, why Disney World is here and isn't moving anytime soon. This isn't Disney World, but Disneyland. And the key thing is not the park, but the surroundings. Downtown Anaheim, a 40 minute drive from Los Angeles. Disneyland opened in 1955. In an internal publication, Disney showed its belief that the site provided sufficient land for present and future growth. Period photos show the area didn't start as densely developed as it is today. But this 1965 map shows how quickly things changed. Everything from schools to shopping centers limited Disneyland's control over its future. Walt Disney needed more. And he wanted to get more from a new park. He wanted his new park to be on the East Coast. He needed a lot of land, so dense urban areas were out. He didn't want cold. That narrowed things down to Florida. He also didn't want to compete with the ocean, so he skipped coastal locations. When flying over Orlando, he saw I-4, I-95, and the Sunshine State Parkway. That clinched it. Locals started to notice big land deals being made by mystery companies. Soon, Floridians began to suspect their mystery industry was Disney. The size was immense. Here's the size of Disneyland if it were in Florida. And here is the land they bought for Disney World, as it is today, even after some land was sold off. Shortly after the land story broke, Disney held a press conference with Governor Hayden Burns and brother Roy Disney to discuss the plans. It will bring a new world of entertainment, pleasure, and economic development to the state of Florida, Walt Disney. Let's break down this next Walt Disney quote. After you've done something, you see uh, with the experience of the, and all of that, uh, what you might do if you were starting from scratch. Disney wanted to get right what he missed in Anaheim. I've taken a look at the land this morning. I, I say we are starting from scratch. <laughs> the land needed a lot of work, drainage work, development, everything. Just look at this 1962 map of the area. There were some orange groves on the land, but this symbol means swamp. The area is called the Reedy Creek Swamp. But uh, we have many things in mind that could make this unique and different than Disneyland. Disney also had greater ambitions for the land that he would only reveal later on. Here in Florida, we have something special we never enjoyed at Disneyland. There's enough land here to hold all the ideas and plans we could possibly imagine. To persuade Florida's government to support the project, Disney released concept art like this that showed way more than a theme park, like a giant industrial complex and a constantly evolving city of 30,000 people. Epcot, an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. And all these varied activities around the Disney world will be tied together by a high-speed rapid transit system running almost the full length of the property. It will never cease to be a living blueprint of the future, where people actually live a life they can't find anywhere else in the world. But Disney didn't want to wait for permits for every sewer drain and light post in his city of tomorrow. To have complete dominion over the land he'd bought, he needed political control, not just a title. He needed a kingdom. Special districts are common. Tens of thousands of them exist across the United States. For example, the famous retirement community, The Villages, just north of Disney, uses them. These let residents vote on a board, which then establishes policies that can raise taxes, build stuff, or fund public safety departments. This can happen across municipal boundaries, county lines, or other traditional boundaries. 
Disney wanted a superpower version of this, with Disney staff as the sole voting residents inside it. They would be able to vote themselves in and make their own rules. The Disney World land is split between Orange and Osceola counties. It also includes what planning documents list as jurisdictions of the city of Bay Lake, unincorporated areas, and the city of Lake Buena Vista, all of which were created for and are largely controlled by Disney. They had multiple points of leverage to get this. I believe we can build a community that more people will talk about and come to look at than any other area in the world. All these plans meant promise of economic development for a relatively sleepy area. I predict that we'll experience at least a 50% and possibly a 100% increase in tourism in the state of Florida. Disney could also threaten to pursue alternate sites. In Northern California, in Mineral King, they had a parallel proposal to build a ski complex that was closer to Anaheim and less swampy. It ended up serving as a taunt to Florida. The result was clear. In the same issue of Disney's internal magazine, in which they announced the biggest surprise of the decade, Florida's VIPs were already flying out to begin working on project problems. Other places didn't grant big powers like Florida. There was no ski resort in Mineral King because the Sierra Club fought it and the state never approved it. All that is why Disney World is here. In May 1967, the Reedy Creek Improvement District was chartered as an entity that could regulate across counties like its own government. It could control sewage, generation of power by nuclear fission, airport facilities, railroads, and construction. And Disney used its powers. The company created an underground tunnel system for their utilities called Utilidors. Each tunnel had spots for ventilation, water, and transportation. They built the monorail, and they created their own lake, the Seven Seas Lagoon, so the parking lot wouldn't sit too close to the castle. They did it all because they could. In 1966, Walt Disney died in Los Angeles. The city part of his Disney World dream mostly died with him, despite some gestures toward building it. Epcot became a part of the theme park in 1982, but it was not a city. The district's comprehensive 10-year plan shows how far the Disney dream has drifted from Epcot. Undeveloped land is labeled green for conservation, not as the foundation for some future city. Mass transportation consists of buses and the monorail line, rather than the intricate transit network that Disney envisioned. Disney has massive populations staying in its many hotels, but when you look at a map of permanent residential addresses in the district, you see eight here and nine here. It's projected to be about 43 people by 2027. Disney ensured that later residential developments didn't change things. Development of Disney's imagineered small town, Celebration, Florida, began on the district in the 1990s, but it was de-annexed from Reedy Creek. The same happened for the Disney-owned Plantation Park condos in Little Lake Bryant. Being cut out of the district means no voting for the board. All of this was just background until the feud. Welcome to the Walt Disney Company's annual meeting of shareholders. I called Governor DeSantis this morning to express our disappointment and concern. Disney's CEO called to protest Florida's Don't Say Gay law, which restricts classroom instruction about sexual orientation. We believe being joined at the hip with this one California-based company was not something that was justifiable or sustainable. And promised the corporate kingdom finally comes to an end. But the taunting continued. Second quarter 2023 financial results conference call. So this is plainly a matter of retaliation while the rest of the Florida special districts continue operating basically as they were. Someone even said, like, maybe you need another state prison. Who knows? I mean, I just think that the, the possibilities are, 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 are endless. Still, the state would struggle to actually dissolve the district. The charter gives the district the power to finance the projects and activities of the district through bonds. If the district disappeared, hundreds of millions in bond debt would probably flow to taxpayers in Orange and Osceola counties. And on the other side, Disney has already made noise about a $17 billion Disney World expansion. In the end, Disney's district has had a name change, and board composition and process may slightly change. But Germany 
and Morocco aren't going anywhere. The kingdom will probably stay a kingdom. 